Hello viewers, Captain Addy here and welcome to the channel. A quick thank you to all of you for all the support and the appreciation. And today I will take you through the process of building the afterburner flames of a scale aircraft model. So for the fuselage I make space for three button cells and I cut the intake which acts as a cover. I now attach the metal flanges and I put three cells in place. Two white LEDs are joined to a small switch and super glued to the exhaust area. Thereafter the assembly of the model is done as we have always been doing following the kit instructions. Now the good part, I make a master flame from plastic sprue and putty and I roughly shape it. Thereafter I wet sand this piece to a nice smooth finish. Finally apply a coat of gloss varnish and I attach it to a lego block for making a rubber mold. Once the mold is complete, I now use clear resin to cast a copy and after this is dried up, we end up with a nice piece of clear afterburner flame. I wet sand this again and I brush a clear coat of future for a nice smooth finish. I make the rings by using a sandpaper to lightly sand away the gloss finish. mixed with clear yellow paint for the flame effect. I use more towards the burner section and less towards the end of the flame for the fade effect. 
For the burner rings, I brush clear orange over the sanded sections. Again I use more towards the burner section and less at the end of the flame. Do refer to your references for the correct amount of fade. And finally, I brush over a mix of clear orange, clear red and future to bring out the reddish glow effect. forgot to position the slats and flaps in the takeoff position so I had to cut the pieces to place them in the correct place. Paintwork is a pre shade of black. Thereafter, I use medium grey for the Indian Air Force color scheme. I use dark grey wash to bring out the panel lines and the rivets.
The base is done using plywood. I make two holes which will accommodate the two flames. I paint this base using grey and black acrylic paint. I wanted to show a wet runway so I used a diluted mix of PVA glue and water and I brushed this in very random places to bring out the wet look of the runway. Finally for the spray I used cotton and I stick it with the same diluted water and PVA glue mix. I will now shape this cotton to bring out the desired result. I hope you guys enjoyed this build. Please leave me comments and do let me know for all your further questions and I'll be glad to answer those. Please do like and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, cheers friends. Bye bye.